used to be way more angry than what you see on this channel. This is what I do, so I don't kill myself. This is what we have to do. This is what we have to do. This is what we have to do. And yes, I do it for you. But I do it for me too. It's okay to be angry as long as you're angry about the right thing. But even if you're angry about the wrong thing, that's fine too. That's fine too. say when I made the choice to forgive my father for all the things that he didn't know that he do a lot of people don't know how they hurt other people try to correct them, if you try to explain it, they get defensive and keep on going. And maybe it's not about getting somebody to change their behavior maybe that's what I am supposed to do this is this is pissing me off y'all you can't see it but I'm getting pissed off right now because <laughs> I can't make up my mind up on these fucking cards <laughs> Seriously though, when my attitude changed, I saw his change too. When my behavior changed, I saw his behavior change too. But it has to start with you. Speaking for me. You gotta stop expecting the world to be what you want it to be. The world will never be what you want it to be. Other people will never be your ideal idea of who you want them to be. I really do believe. I wish I was more organized. I'm just not, dude. I'm not. I cleaned out my car last night because I had all this time to do it. And I was like, there is no excuse for you to not clean your car somewhat. Um, but yeah, it's like everything's such a mess. So if, if you see the state of my car, you see the state of my house, you see the state of my bathroom, you see the state of my, my workstation. I mean, it's a running joke at my job like that I just take my house everywhere I go. And, um, yeah, so it's like almost impossible for me to, you know, compartmentalize my brain. But if I could, I would probably be famous. Um, I think I get in my own way. But, because there's just so much of me. And I'm like 90 pounds. Um, but yeah, it's like. I think that we kind of idealize ourselves, and if we idealize ourselves, then we're going to do that with other people. That's why people, you know, that have narcissist personality disorder are, like, so fucking erratic. Like, they're so dangerous. They're dangerous to themselves and they're dangerous to other people because they're lying to themselves all the time about who they are. 
you know? And if you're lying to yourself about who you are, then why wouldn't you lie to yourself about who everybody else is in relation to you? So the reason why you idealize and then devalue people is because those people either make you look good or make you look bad. Like I said, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do a whiteboard about this stuff, because I feel like if people have that visual, if they can see it, they might understand it better. Because I know that I can explain these things really well, but I, I need to explain them better than I do. Because I don't think that people have the time to watch every single video that I do about this shit. You know, because I go off on all these different tangents about many things so it, it's like you can't really keep up with me and that I think that kind of drives people away sometimes because I just I'm too um versatile of a person I'm not boring I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm interesting Going, but yeah um it's just like if if you're like thinking that that you're doing things that you're actually not doing or that you don't do things that you do all the time, that, then, like, yeah, you're definitely going to lie about other people. So if people are, like, overly complimentary, that's definitely a red flag. And I'm not saying they all have NPD, because that's a serious diagnosis, but, like, I'm just very suspicious of people that, like, just love, 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 love me, you know? It's just weird. It's like, dude, I am not whatever you're idealizing, okay? And I'm not just saying that because of my alcoholic past life. I'm saying that because of the person I am now. Like, I'm a very flawed person, and I will not pay you the attention that you want from me, I'll tell you that. Um, but, but, yeah, that's why people devalue you as a person, like, because you're not meeting up to their expectations. And that's just really weird. Like, the more I think about it in regards to social media, like, social media is like public school 5,000, okay? It's like every terrible thing about public school, multiply that by 5,000, okay? Like, just the judgment and the, you know, I have to do this to fit in. I have to do this to be part of this group. I don't want to get made fun of. I don't want to be bullied. I mean, I fucking hated school, dude. I fucking hated school so much. It was just terrible. And then I got on an antidepressant, and it was just so much worse. And that was, like, right around the time that Columbine happened, too. So, like, you know, I really could relate. I really could relate to, to uh, Eric Harris and... Uh, Dylan Claybold, because, yeah, um, I mean, all these mass shooters are on medication. They'll never talk about it because, um, they'll never talk about anything that, that's actually way more relevant than what they constantly bring up, which is usually something to do with firearms, but they'll never talk about people killing themselves with guns, you know? And they'll, they'll definitely never talk about all the people that don't kill anybody with a gun. You know? They're just using it for self-defense. But, anyway. See? Side rant. Um. But, uh. Yeah. Like, if, if you put something out there into the world, onto the internet. If, if you put something out there. And, and, and people see it. People that don't know you. They don't know anything about you. They don't know your past. They don't know, like, the type of person you are. They're not familiar with your idiosyncratic behavior. Like, they really don't know shit about you. The only thing they know about you is what they see in a tweet or what they see in a picture. Okay? And they comment on it. Like, that is insane! The, the fact that this is a thing that happens. Like, that, that people think that they can, like, leave a comment on something, like, there's no context. There's, like, there's no context for anything on social media. And so, if you live in a world without context, like, that world isn't real. 